Hi, everybody. How have you been? How are you today? I hope that all of you are in good condition. Just remember, stay at home and stay healthy. It is a pleasure to see you through this presentation today and hope you can study well with me today. Okay, before that, I want to make sure that all of my third grade students are here to watch this video so we can learn together today. Okay, are you all, are, you, are all of you here today? And are you ready to continue our lessons today? Okay, let's go to the next slide. Okay. The question may be that the question that you may ask me is what we are what are we going to learn? What are we going to learn today? Apa sih yang akan kita pelajari hari ini? Okay. Today we are go, we are going to talk about numbers. Hari ini kita akan belajar tentang bilangan. You have learned about number since you were at the first grade and also at the second grade. And we continue to talk about number at the third grade, that is from number one until number hundred. Kalian telah belajar angka ini, bilangan ini dari kelas satu, kelas dua, dan berlanjut di kelas tiga. Di kelas tiga kita akan belajar bilangan satu sampai seratus. Oke. Okay. I also want to tell you that there actually during this semester we are going to talk about two kinds of number. Ibu juga ingin memberitahu bahwa selama se, selama semester ini semester satu ini kita akan belajar dua macam angka, dua macam bilangan. Jadi, that up the first one is cardinal number. Angka bilangan biasa, bilangan kardinal, bilangan biasa, you have familiar with them. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Bilangan biasa, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so, dan seterusnya. And then the second one is ordinal number. In bahasa Indonesia, we may say bilangan urutan. That is first, ke satu, second, kedua. Third, ketiga, and so on. Okay, we are going to talk about ordinal number when we talk about dates. Kita akan belajar tentang ordinal number saat kita belajar tentang tanggal. So, you know that today we only talk about cardinal number. Jadi, kalian tahu hari ini kita hanya belajar tentang Cardinal number. Okay. Can you get it? Okay. Can we continue? Okay. But before that, I want you to know, I want you to keep in your mind that I need you to sit nicely and also comfortably. Okay. Ibu juga ingin kalian untuk duduk manis, kemudian uh, duduk nyaman. Dan jangan lupa, don't forget to take your happy campus 3. Jangan lupa, siapkan juga happy campus 3 and also your notebook if you need it. Dan juga buku tulis jika kalian merlukannya. Okay, the second one. Second one is listen, watch, and follow the lesson attentively. Yang kedua adalah ibu ingin kalian untuk mendengar, melihat. Dan juga nanti untuk mengikuti semua pembelajaran ini dengan seksama. In case you 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 will get a better understanding about the lessons today, sehingga kamu bisa uh, memahami pembelajaran ini dengan baik. Oke, okay? next last one. The last one, I also want you to learn about to appreciate yourself. Hari ini juga ibu ingin kalian selama pembelajaran ini belajar untuk menghargai diri kalian sendiri. That you are able to do all the exercise, to do all the lesson, to do uh, to do all the exercises and also you can learn well 
during this lesson. That is the way you appreciate yourself. Bahwa kalian bisa mengerjakan semua latihan. Bahwa kalian bisa belajar hari ini dengan baik. Itulah caranya. Kamu menghargai diri kalian. Oke. Okay? I think that all of my students are a very good students. Very good child. Children. Oke. Okay? Oke. Okay. We will continue to, to our lesson. And for the first one. We will sing and dance. Okay. You can stand up and sing and also dance. Kamu, kalian boleh berdiri, kemudian bernyanyi dan juga berdansa mengikuti video ini. Let's do it now. It's fun, isn't it? Do you enjoy singing and dancing? Okay, we have sings, we have dance, and we will continue to our real lessons. Okay, here in this slide, I have five questions that you have to answer quickly. Dalam slide ini, ibu punya lima soal. Yang ibu ingin kalian jawab dengan cepat. Say it aloud. Say your answer aloud. Katakan jawabanmu dengan keras. Don't be, don't be, don't be, uh, don't be. Just, just say it aloud, okay? Number one. How old are you? Okay, very good. I am eight years old. Some of you, I am seven years old. I am nine years old. All of the answer are correct. Second one. How many people are there in your family? Ada berapa orang sih di dalam keluargamu? How many people are there in your family? Very good. There are five people in my family. There are Three, there are four. It's okay. All of your answer is correct. Number three. How many brothers do you have? Ada berapa saudara laki-laki yang kamu punya? Very good. I have three brothers with us. Ada S-nya. Kalau lebih dari satu, brothers-nya ada S-nya. Kalian sudah belajar ini di kelas? Dua. But if you have only one brother, so you you have to say I have one brother without S. Jadi brothernya tidak boleh ada S ya kalau jumlah saudaranya hanya ada satu. Next, the same as the third one. It is about sister. How many sister do you have? I have 
sister, I have one sister, etc. and so on. Last one. How many days are there in a week? How many days are there in a week? That's right. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, very good. Okay, now I have also five quick quiz. It is, we do this for a review on the lesson that you have got at the first and the second grade. Okay, number one. Let's play a little game. What number is that? Very good. Three. Okay, next. Sorry, we will go back. Ooh, what number is that? Very good. Thirteen. What about this? What number is that? Fifteen. Very good. Fifteen. Next. What number is that? Five. Very good. How clever you are. Next. And is it number six? No, that is number eight. Okay, next. What number is that? Two. What a quick answer. Thank you. Next. What number is that? Two teen? No, it is twelve. Not two teen. Don't forget, it is twelve, not two teen. Next. Is it number nine? No, nineteen. Very good answer. Number nine. Oh, very easy one. That is one. What about this one? It is one ten. No, it is eleven. Very good. Good job for all of you. Okay. Now, you have to remember, this is a number that you have to keep in your mind. You must know this one. Number one until twenty. You have to remember angka satu sampai dua puluh. Kalian harus sudah hafal. You have to be able to master it. Jadi ibu minta satu sampai dua puluh. Ini materi sampai kelas dua ya. Kalian sudah benar-benar tahu. Bagi yang belum belajar lagi ya sampai dua puluh. Supaya nanti kita bisa, bisa mengikuti pelajaran di kelas 3 sampai angka 100. Okay. For those who haven't remember all from 1 until 20, please study again. In case you can, you can follow the third grade to mention number 1 until 100 uh, more, more clearly. Okay. More fluently. Okay. Next. This is uh, so we are going to continue our lesson. Uh, to talk about numbers, okay? Now, I want you to look, look at uh, page 6 and list down the number written there. Look at the number written on page 8, okay? Okay, jadi tolong kamu buka halaman 8 dan kemudian kamu lihat di Di sebelah kiri itu ada angka-angka yang tertulis di situ. Kamu tulis. Oke, okay. kemudian kita akan lihat. What number are they? 
they are they are oke okay. oke okay, ini bahwa seperti yang ibu katakan tadi remember make sure that you have known number 1 until 20 then we will add those number with tense ya kamu harus yak meyakinkan diri kalian bahwa kalian harus benar-benar hafal angka penyebutan angka 1 sampai 20. Kemudian untuk menyebut sampai angka 100, kita tinggal menambahkan kosakata tentang puluhan. So, uh, kita hanya hanya akan tidak me, tidak satu-satu kita tapi kita akan aplikasi, kita akan combine to talk about a number from 1 until 100. Uh, all we have to do just memorize uh, maybe 29 vocabulary, vocabulary. Jadi untuk menyebut angka 1 sampai 100 kita hanya uh, hanya harus menghafal 29 kosakata saja. Jadi tidak harus satu-satu sampai 100. Coba bayangkan kalau nanti sampai 1000, kalian harus harus satu-satu ngomongin 1 sampai 1000 capek, oke? Okay? So, it doesn't it doesn't need we don't need to to Memorize number one by one. Okay, so we will continue our lessons. How to talk, tell about number? This is the numbers that you list down on your books. Ini adalah angka-angka yang ada di dalam uh, buku kalian halaman 8. Okay, the first one is 20. And then 30. Wait. I hope that you that you uh, repeat after me. Always repeat after the speakers. Jadi ibu ingin kalian kalau mendengar mungkin dari guru, mungkin dari native speaker, mungkin dari mamanya, dari papanya, dari omnya sedang mengajarkan bagaimana cara berbicara dalam bahasa Inggris, it's better you repeat after him or her. Akan lebih bagus kalau kalian mengulang apa yang dikatakan. So you can learn how to pronounce a word correctly. Okay? Okay. 20, 30, and then 40. 40. Kebanyakan uh, most of you most of you have a mistaken to write down to re misspell, misspell uh, 40. Kebanyakan dari kalian biasanya salah untuk me mengeja atau menuliskan ejaan kata 40 dalam bahasa Inggris. Most of you, maybe some of you, I hope there's only only a few of you. Saya berharap hanya sedikit yang membuat kesalahan ini bahwa biasanya 40 itu kalian tambahkan u 40 begitu. But the correct one without any u. Yang benar tidak ada u nya. F O R T Y 40. 40. Ya. Yeah. Without you, okay. Next, fifty, okay. Also fifty. A few of you, some of you, maybe write down fifty by V, and then E five T. No, not five T, but fifty. Not F I V E T Y, but F I F T Y. Oke, okay, 50, not 5T, but 50. Next, 60. It is ordinary one. Ini biasa. From the word 6 and then added by TY. The same as 7. 70. 80. Only single T, hanya satu T-nya. Never Double T. Jangan di double ya huruf T-nya. Oke. Okay. 90 is the same. It is ordinary one. 90. And 100. Dan 100. I don't talk. I don't. I don't tell you a hundred or one hundred. Because I want to add it. Ibu tidak mengatakan one hundred. Karena nanti. Karena uh, nanti. Kosa kata hundred akan ibu pasang-pasangkan dengan angka-angka yang ada di situ. Kalau seratus, ya one hundred. Kalau tiga ratus, dari angka, dari kosa kata three and hundred. Three hundred. So, uh, I 
prefer not to say 100 but 100 only yeah okay next okay what about numbers between those stands bagaimana ya this is your, your this is may this is maybe your 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 question ini mungkin pertanyaan kalian bagaimana ya kalau angka di antara puluhan itu uh, for example uh, 2793 oke okay. that is what uh, usually uh, answer usually you ask itu yang biasanya kalian tanyakan my answer is just combine between tens and one and until nine. Jadi uh, jawaban saya kombinasikan saja antara istilah teens yang tadi kalian pelajari yang kereta tadi karena ada 20, 30, 40, uh, 50, uh, 70, 90. Nah, itu kemudian gabungkan dengan kosakata 1 sampai 9, one until nine. Oke. Okay. So in this case again I remind you Remember, you have to master uh, telling about 1 until 20. Kalian benar-benar harus sudah menguasai angka 1 sampai 20. Jadi ada 20 kosa kata. Kemudian tambahkan kosa kata 30, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Hanya 8. Hanya 28 kosa kata. Oke. Okay? Hanya itu kalian akan bisa menyebutkan sampai 999. Oke. Okay. So, by mastering uh, 28 uh, vocabulary, you, are, you will be able to mention numbers 1 until 999. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. We will continue. How to... Uh, tell the numbers. Okay. Okay. This is what we are going to do. Okay. Twenty, dua puluh tiga. This is the way that maybe some of you too confused about telling numbers. So, uh, talk in Indonesian words. Ini bagaimana caranya kalau kalian misalnya nih belum terlalu bisa. Uh, mengatak, uh, menyebutkan bilangan boleh dong kita mulai dari bahasa Indonesia apa ya kemudian kita transkrip satu-satu kita translate satu-satu we have to translate one by one based on the Indonesian uh, term dalam istilah bahasa Indonesia apa kemudian kita terjemahkan satu-satu that is the way 23 so kita ambil kata 20 yang dari kosa kata yang kayak kereta tadi and then 3 dari yang sudah kalian kuasai dari kelas sampai kelas 2. 48 dari 40 dan 8. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay. is it easy? I think it is easy one. Oke, okay. next. Let's practice. You berlatih you latihan sekarang. Oke. Okay. Ini this is the numbers that you have to master. Ini bilangan-bilangan yang halio sekalian sudah kuasai. 1 18, 19, 20, and then 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Yeah, 100. Okay. So, how can we mention numbers using this 28 Vocabulary. Bagaimana sih kita bisa menggunakan 28 kosa kata ini untuk menyebutkan angka? Oke, okay. this is the example. Oke, okay. just like before, 31. Oke, okay. 30. Wah, wow. next. 75. 70, 
Okay, it's a, it is interesting, internet. It, it is very easy one. Menarik bukan? Dan juga ibu pikir, ibu 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 pikir, dan juga ibu harap juga mudah bagi kalian bahwa uh, we we need not me, uh, memorize 100 vocabulary but 28 only bahwa kita tidak harus menghafal 1 sampai 100 kosakata tetapi kita bisa hanya dengan 28 kosakata kita bisa menyebut angka sampai 999 Later we will continue to talk about thousands when we talk about date because we have to mention about the year. Okay, next. This is your turn to practice and I hope you do it in your exercising book. Okay. There is train question. We don't, we don't, we don't discuss it today. Later when we have a online meeting we will we will discuss it but only the difficulties that you find and also maybe you have some answer okay this is the maybe you may say it is a homework kamu bisa mengatakan ini adalah pr okay there are five five number five question that you have to answer what number is it right with the correct spelling Uh, bilang anak berapa sih ini dan tuliskan dengan uh, ejaan yang benar. Always try to write in correct spelling. Oke? Okay? I bet that you can do it by the way. Oke? Okay? 15, 15, 23, 30, 37 dan 42. Remember about how to talk, tell time. Oke? Okay? Just combine between teens and number one until number number nine. Okay. Kombinasikan antara puluhan dan puluhan, I mean, dua puluh, twenty, until ninety uh, teens. This is the second part. You have to write the symbols of the number. You have to write symbols of the number. So there are ten, ten questions that you have to write down. You have to answer. Okay. This is the lesson. That's the lesson we learned today. I hope you can understand it well. And if there is any question, you can ask ask me when we meet online. Okay. It's a great pleasure to study with you today, and see ya.